the sensation of tingling or numbness in the feet and toes can be caused by various factors, but we will discuss the most common and important ones. Many cases of sporadic tingling or numbness are tied to everyday factors, such as sitting or standing in an awkward position or sleeping in awkward position. When we're discussing chronic tingling of feet and toes first we think about compression neuropathy, and its most common presentation is Morton's neuroma. It is a condition where the plantar nerve surrounding tissue is thickened and it compresses the nerve. This usually causes tingling in the third and fourth toes. Possible other toes also. Symptoms are more persistent in nature, but usually they aggravated by standing or walking and reduced by removing shoes and massaging the foot. Morton's neuroma usually occurs in response to wearing tight shoes, high heels, engaging in intense activities that put pressure on the foot, and trauma. Treatment for Morton's neuroma can include wearing wide shoes with good arch support to reduce pressure. Metatarsal pads also help. In rare cases surgical decompression is used to remove the tissues pressuring the nerve. The prognosis of the Morton's neuroma is good for both conservative and non-conservative treatments. The second common cause is tarsal tunnel syndrome. It resembles Morton's neuroma, but in this case, burning, tingling numbness, or pain affects not toes, but the whole sole of the foot, potentially extending to the heel and arch nerves and blood vessels travel through tunnels created by tissues in the body. And one such tunnel is the tarsal tunnel. After trauma or irritation, the tunnel can tighten, compressing the tibial nerve. Patients with tarsal tunnel syndrome might describe their condition as, my foot feels tingly, numb, or like it's burning. Sometimes there's a shooting pain, too. Treatment for tarsal tunnel syndrome can include avoiding activities that exacerbate symptoms. Anti-inflammatory medications can reduce swelling and pain. Physical therapy often improves strength, flexibility, and gait. Corticosteroid injections may be administered to reduce inflammation in the tunnel. If compression is caused by a tumor, its removal is essential. The prognosis is generally good in most cases. The third possible cause of foot numbness and tingling is due to diabetic neuropath. When a person has uncontrolled diabetes, and blood glucose is constantly elevated it damages nerves, and commonly within 10 years, diabetic neuropathy develops. High blood sugar levels damage nerves over time, causing symptoms such as tingling and numbness, often described as a pins and needles sensation, burning, stabbing, or shooting pain. Increased sensitivity to touch and loss of sensation, especially to temperature. Diabetic neuropathy usually starts in the feet. It can develop in the hands but is less likely. It typically affects both feet symmetrically, meaning tingling and numbness usually start in the toes of both feet. Over time, numbness spreads to the upper parts of the foot and legs. Symptoms worsen at night. Initially, symptoms may come and go, but as the disease progresses, they become persistent. The fourth cause of tingling and numbness in the feet and toes is nutritional deficiencies. Deficiencies in vitamins B12, B6, and B1, thiamine, as well as minerals like calcium, potassium, and magnesium, can lead to peripheral neuropathy. This cause is particularly relevant in individuals with malabsorption issues, alcohol dependence, or those whose diets are lacking in these essential nutrients. The fifth, less likely but still common condition that can cause numbness and tingling in the foot is peripheral artery disease, PAD. PAD is characterized by the narrowing of arteries due to atherosclerosis. The most common symptom of PAD is intermittent claudication, which manifests as cramping, pain, aching, or a tired feeling in the legs, usually in the calves, thighs, or buttocks during walking or exercise. The pain typically goes away with rest. Legs may appear pale or bluish. The probability of developing PAD increases with advanced age, diabetes, hypertension, and smoking. Symptoms are usually not localized to the foot, but are more common in the upper parts of the legs, such as the calves, thighs, or buttocks. 
Additionally, although less common, multiple sclerosis, MS, is a serious and possible cause of numbness and tingling. MS is an autoimmune disease where the body's immune system attacks the myelin sheath, the protective layer around the nerves in the brain and spinal cord. MS can cause a wide range of symptoms, and no single symptom can definitively indicate the presence of the disease. Symptoms of MS can include numbing, tingling, blurred vision, muscle weakness and spasticity, and problems with walking and coordination. While numbness and tingling sensations can occur anywhere in the body, they are most commonly experienced in the limbs and less commonly across the entire body, including the face and trunk. MS is characterized by periods of remission and flare-ups, meaning there are times when the disease is more active and times when symptoms are less prominent or, though rarely, may disappear completely. MS is typically diagnosed between the ages of 20 to 40, 